Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of AME Logbook. In part 1, we discuss initial pages of our logbook. In part 2, we talked about maintenance writing page, format of entries, and how to write workshop entries with examples. In this part, we will discuss how to write line and base maintenance entry with all examples. We will also see very important point on how to make multiple entries from single task card. I have also made video for my YouTube channel Chalks On to Chalks Off where I am talking about Yasa Part 66 AME Logbook which is very much different from Indian DGCA Logbook. So check out the link in description and do subscribe both the channel for more awesome videos. Let's get our video started. Let's talk about line or base maintenance entries. It can be further divided into transit check, daily or weekly check, A check or if you are in base then major checks. Each one will have subtasks which can be made into a single entry. Like transit check will have servicing of waste and water, replenishment of oil, refueling, inspection and it can also have unscheduled tasks like PDR reported then we have to do rectification or if any invoking any MEL we have to do any maintenance action or replacement of any component. Likewise in daily and weekly we do servicing, inspection, few operational tests, few functional tests and also unscheduled item like PDR action, ML maintenance action or replacement of any component. Likewise in A check or major checks we are doing lot of servicing, operational and functional test, detail inspection, open up and close up, modification or service bulletin, deferred defect rectification or replacement of components. So let's see the example of each entries. Example for servicing, serial number, date and time, type of aircraft and engine, you will mention engine model number because this task was done on engine, aircraft registration whatever. Now ET chapter is 12, servicing, work order you will mention either tech log number or tech log page number because this task was done in transit so transit doesn't have any work order. Now the terminology used can be as follows, assisted in carrying out engine to oil servicing during transit or assisted in upliftment of engine oil during transit or if it was done in daily then perform refilling of engine oil during daily inspection as found low. So any of the following you can use and if you are performing it you will write perform if uh, assisted then you will write assist. Other column will be uh, as required. Now this are the another example for servicing on APU. So you will mention the APU model number in this engine column. The tech log number or work order if it is done in weekly. A servicing of APU oil reservoir carried out during weekly as found low as per AMM so and so. Example for refueling. Assisted in performing pressure refueling during transit as per AMM so and so. So you try to write the same exact word which is mentioned on AMM heading. Example for hydraulic upliftment, so assisted in filling green hydraulic reservoir with hand pump during daily inspection as per AMM so and so. Or you can write perform replenishment of blue hydraulic reservoir with hand pump during daily inspection as per AMM so and so. Example for inspection, assisted in carrying out general visual inspection of fuselage during daily in accordance with AMM so and so. And what was the result? It was found satisfactory or it was found okay or nil defect found. Another example for inspection, perform zonal inspection of nose landing gear during weekly as per AMM so and so, found satisfactory. Example for operational test, during daily assisted in operational test of navigation light as per AMM so and so, found satisfactory. Example for functional test. So functional test of rudder server control actuating spring rod carried out as per AMM 27 found satisfactory. So it was done in base so I have written type of maintenance based and performed P and it was B2 task with 1 hour of uh, duration. Example for pilot defect report. So it was reported in transit so I have written tag log number and uh, we have done the replacement so work order number will also be there. So as we seen in workshop entries first we have to write the defect reported cockpit oxygen pressure lower than permissible limit then what action was carried out 
crew oxygen bottle replacement carried out referring amm so instead of in respect to with respect to in accordance with i have written referring amm 35 so and so post in installation test carried out found satisfactory so it was done in line and uh, performed myself so p and b2 task 30 minute of duration another example for pdr entry and replacement so defect reported was hot air fault so it was done in uh, base so there is no tech log number i have written work order number and type of maintenance is base so if you are assisting in any type of replacement you will write in action assisted in replacement of hot air valve filter element in accordance with amm 21 then assisted in carrying out temperature control test and what was the result found satisfactory type of maintenance b assist b1 and one hour of duration time example for troubleshooting so we have to write what was the reason for the troubleshooting we will write defect reported flight control flap tip brake fault rectification action we will write assisted because troubleshooting is directly not done by the mechanic or technician or trainee it is done by engineer so always write assisted in carrying out troubleshooting as per tsm we will give the reference of tsm work done we can directly copy from what am is writing in tag log or in work order so what was the work done sfcc connector cleaned and re-racked test carried out as per tsm and no fault recorded that's it another example for troubleshooting and replacement what was the defect hydraulic blue pump overheat message and what was the action carried out assisted in troubleshooting as per tsm 2912 whatever pump found faulty replacement of blue hydraulic pump carried out in accordance with AMM 29 so and so operation test satisfactory and optional you can write part number and serial number it was done in base so I have written based and P for performed example for service bulletin or modification this type of entries are rare to get so try to write maximum detail in the entry so as we seen in workshop entries first we will write service bulletin title and then number you can see here perform service bulletin of hydraulic PTU A320-29-1126 revision 02. Now what was the work done? As per service bulletin activated power transfer unit inhibition logic by modification of wiring as per wiring diagram in service bulletin. Now we have to give the reference of ESPM how the wiring modification was carried out. So I have given all reference of ESPM. It is already normally mentioned in a service bulletin what we are getting. It was done in base, so base performed and B2, the duration of the modification is whole one day. Another example for service bulletin or modification. Now if you are assisting, you will write assisted in carrying out service bulletin TRU then title number A330-24-6054. What was the action done? As per service bulletin, assisted in replacement of TRU with part number so and so you will give a amm reference of removal installation and then post installation test carried out found satisfactory that's all examples from line or base maintenance if you have any doubt or query you can write in comment below or you can contact me on instagram or facebook now we will see how to make multiple entries from single task card Normally every task will have subtask which can be made into individual entry. By this way we can avoid repeating the main task entries and write different subtask. For example we will see Airbus as well as Boeing manual. Here is the aircraft maintenance manual of Airbus for replacement of main landing gear wheel. So if you see properly in the start of AMM procedure in part D reference information is given. So all this can be made into a single entry. For example, during main wheel replacement assisted in lifting or jacking of main landing gear as per AMM 071200. You can also make like performed installation of safety device on landing gear during main wheel replacement. Then as per AMM 3200 whatever. Also like during main wheel replacement Removal of fan assembly carried out as per AMM 324851 whatever. So suppose 3 nights you are doing main wheel replacement consecutive nights. So no need to write main wheel replacement 3 times. 
वन डे यू कैन राइट इधर लिफ्टिंग ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट सेकेंड डे यू कैन राइट इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ सेफ्टी डिवाइस थर्ड डे यू कैन राइट फैन असेंबली एंड सो ऑन राधर दैन राइटिंग मेन विल फॉर थ्री टाइम्स यू कैन राइट द सब टास्क ईच डे यर इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बोइंग एयरक्राफ्ट मेंटेन्स मैनुअल फॉर रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ ब्रेक असेंबली सो यर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द ए एम एम इन अल्फा रेफरेंस दे हैव गिवन ऑल द रेफरेंस ऑफ वॉट द सब टास्क विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन दिस टास्क सो ड्यूरिंग रिमूवल ऑफ ब्रेक असेंबली ऑल दिस सब टास्क कैन बी मेड इन टू अ सेपरेट इंडिविजुअल एंट्री गिविंग रेफरेंस फॉर द ब्रेक असेंबली रिमूवल दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम ए एम ई लॉक बुक एपिसोड्स See you in another amazing aviation video. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.